Welcome to Kermode Uncut. Christmas is upon us. And as you all know, one of the things that happens at Christmas is there's loads and loads of movies on TV. Now, this year, I have, for the first time, moved into the 21st century and gone digital. I have done my TV films listings research online, and it's been a fascinating thing, not least because it turns out that there are channels out there that I had simply never heard of. More importantly, it's enabled me to make something of a coherent list of films that are on over the Christmas period, which may lead you to some you know, undiscovered gems. It's completely arbitrary. These are just my choices, and I'm sure there are loads and loads of other great films on which you might want to see. However, here is my guide to the movies on television in the UK over Christmas 2016. So let's start with Saturday, December the 17th. If you're a fan of Peter Jackson and Tolkien, well, you're in heaven because on ITV 415, there's a double bill of Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, followed immediately by The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. I mean, that is umpteen hours of viewing, which will basically wipe out the day for you. However, my choice would be over on ITV4 at 2.30, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I know you've all seen it before. I know everyone's seen it loads and loads of times. I mean, I remember watching that film and then seeing Wayne's World afterwards and wondering why it was that everyone was going mad about Wayne's World and people weren't picking up on Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 2.30 on ITV4. Also, for Late Night Owls, The Guest is on Channel 4 at 12.15. Adam Wingard and Simon Barrett, who made Your Next, and then went on to make the Blair Witch remake, reboot, next instalment that came out this year that I actually thought was okay. Wasn't great, I did a blog about how it had none of the found footage sort of terror of the original. But The Guest is a really good sort of edgy, throwback, funny, satirical chiller. And it's well worth checking out Channel 4 at 12.15 on to Sunday, December the 18th. And one of the things that's great about television this Christmas is there is a lot of Emma Thompson around, which from my point of view is a really great thing. Sunday, BBC Two at 11.30, Emma Thompson and Dustin Hoffman in Last Chance Harvey, which is a film which I really liked. Didn't get great sort of critical responses and I don't think very many people saw it, but it's a really terrific movie and it's the first of a series of Emma Thompson appearances. I'm a slightly bigger news ITV Two, 710, The Amazing Spider-Man, which is, you know, the, the restart version, which is kind of okay, not great. However, the thing to really look out for on Sunday, Channel 4, 205, is Inkheart, which is Ian Softley's adaptation of that book by Cornelia Funke. And again, I'm a huge Ian Softley fan, and I thought that was going to be the start of a really big series, and I thought it was going to do really well. Came out, kind of got ignored, but it's a real charmer. Inkheart, Channel 4, 5 past 2, don't miss it. Now, just skipping through the weekdays, Tuesday, December the 20th, on the Sci-Fi Channel, at 11.30, Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Just such a fabulous movie. Stands up to multiple viewings. No matter how many times you've seen it, every time you see it, it's, it's intriguing and it's emotional and it's a science fiction story, but it works on an absolutely personal level. It's a great performance by Jim Carrey. And I think Kate Winslet has never been better. Jumping ahead then to Thursday, December the 22nd, Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa, on BBC Two at 11.05. I remember going to see this in a cinema, which I paid a huge amount of money to see, because it was a London cinema. And I remember going in thinking, I've just paid something like 25 quid to see something which is basically an offshoot of a television programme. Came out of the movie at the end thinking, that's absolutely satisfactory. Laughed all the way through it. It worked really well. It was a proper film. Now it's back on telly, of course, but it's really worth seeing. And again, I think I will stay up and watch it again, because I laughed so much the first time round. On to Friday the 23rd, and it's Emma time again. BBC Two, 8.30, Saving Mr Banks. Now, if you're a regular here, you'll know I'm a huge fan of Mary Poppins. I'm a huge fan of Emma Thompson. This is basically like the perfect storm for me. It's the story of P.L. Travers and Walt Disney collaborating and falling out on the creation of Disney's Mary Poppins. It's a really wonderful film. Works terrifically well. I mean, it has a huge amount of historical detail. Yes, there is some degree of invention, but I think it does get to the heart of something. And the the most interesting thing for me is this. It demonstrates that films are often at their best when made with some kind of creative conflict. I know I bring The Exorcist into everything, but the fact of the matter is that Friedkin, the director, and Blatty, the screenwriter, had a lot of fights and tensions over how The Exorcist would turn out, and it turned out brilliantly. Turns out the same with Mary Poppins. Bill Travers and Walt Disney had very different ideas about what they wanted, and Travers famously didn't like the film. It's a great film, so is Saving Mr. Banks. All of which brings us to Christmas Eve. And of course, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, absolutely packed with movie screenings. Let's start off one o'clock on BBC Two, Tom Hanks in Splash. Now, Tom Hanks is currently in cinemas landing an aeroplane on the Hudson in Sully, Miracle on the Hudson. In this 
He goes into the sea, falls in love with a mermaid. Frankly, I know which one I will be watching time and time again. Ron Howard has done some terrible Dan Brown adaptations, but anyone who made Splash is great in my book. BBC Two, one o'clock. Now, if you want a Christmas Carol, you can either have 11.30 on BBC One, Christmas Carol, the Disney mocap version, you know, with Jim Carrey doing all those different parts, or Channel 4, 5.50, you can have Muppet Christmas Carol with Michael Caine. Now, as you'll know, I think Muppet Christmas Carol is the superior version. In fact, I think it's the best version of that story. And Michael Caine is clearly having the time of his life making that movie. It's a real charmer and an absolute stock standard Christmas favourite as far as I'm concerned. Then on to BBC Two, 9pm, Lady in the Van. Superb adaptation of Alan Bennett's writing. Really charming, funny film with a brilliantly acerbic central performance by Maggie Smith. I know a lot of people will be tuning into that. However, if you're staying up late, wrapping presents, you know, doing all those things that you should have done during the week before, but you didn't. At 12.20 on BBC Two, Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret in Viva Las Vegas. The absolute best of the Elvis post-army movies. I know that sounds like I'm damning with faint praise, but Elvis and Anne Margaret together. Wow. So, on to Christmas Day, and no Christmas Day would be complete without a screening of Wizard of Oz, luckily enough. Channel 5 to the rescue, 10 past 2, Wizard of Oz on loads of other places as well, probably, like in your video collection. But Wizard of Oz on Channel 5 at 2.10. On Channel 4 at 2.20, It's a Wonderful Life. I mean, watch it, if only to marvel at how much I don't look like George Bailey. The Artist is on BBC Two at 2.25 in the afternoon. So there's a real kind of pile-up of great movies. I love The Artist. The sad thing about The Artist was that you remember when it came out and it was at the Oscars and being fated, everybody said it's the return of silent cinema. And actually since then we haven't seen a huge slew of silent movies. What we have seen, however, is a continued interest in silent movies with live musical performance, which is a really great thing. And The Artist, anything that makes people think, you know what, I can watch a black and white 4 by 3 silent movie and really enjoy myself is a very good thing. Then Frozen is on BBC One at 10 past three. So this is the big BBC Christmas gift, everybody watching Frozen. If you're gonna see Frozen, great, but do go and see Moana, the new Disney animation, which is in cinemas at the moment, which is really, really lovely. And I have to say, for my money, has the edge over Frozen. Onto the satellite channels, The Jungle Book, the new version of The Jungle Book, which is all kind of CGI animation with Chris Walken and Idris Elba and Bill Murray, is on Sky Premiere at 1.30. The interesting thing about that film is, I mean, it's live action, but it is, to all intents and purposes, an animation. Because with the exception of Neil Seti, who's the young boy who plays Mowgli, everything you see, including all those landscapes, is all CGI. And then, at 11 p.m., Love Actually, Emma Time Again. You know, Love Actually appears to be on television every single day somewhere at some point. I mean, I cannot find a day in the calendar in which Love Actually isn't showing somewhere on television. 11 p.m. Christmas Day. You've had, you know, everything's happened. You need to settle down and watch Emma Thompson have a cry. Which brings us to Boxing Day. So Christmas is behind you. Let's start off the Horror Channel, four o'clock, Matinee, Joe Dante's film, which is a brilliant tribute to the kind of gimmicks of William Castle era horror with a fantastic central performance by John Goodman. Again, a film which is too often overlooked. A really, really good movie. That's on the Horror Channel at four o'clock. On BBC One at 4.30, How to Train Your Dragon 2, which for my money was fine, great. I mean, I didn't think it was quite as brilliant as some other people, but I liked it. However, Channel 5, 5.20, Emma Time Again with Pierce Brosnan, now reunited in The Love Punch by the same guy, incidentally, who brought you Last Chance Harvey. I think somebody in TV commissioning has got a thing for Emma Thompson because there is a lot of Emma Thompson. Deadpool is on Sky Premiere at 8 p.m. Again, this was an interesting case because of all the sort of superhero movies released during the year. It was the one that was trying to do something subversive. Although, frankly, I never thought it was as edgy as Kick-Ass, which always felt like a much more sort of independently spirited movie. Deadpool did feel a little bit corporate, although it is funny. Then Tom Hanks is back. I ITV, 9 p.m. in Captain Phillips, or you could go to ITV2, where they're showing Love Actually. <laughs> then on to 10.30, BBC2, make an appointment to watch Pride, starring the fabulous George Mackay. True story of a lesbian and gay support the miners. One of those films that just puts a spring in your step. It's uplifting, and it's a really interesting story that many people have forgotten about, but it will really make you feel that all is genuinely right with the world. That's Pride, BBC2 at 10.30. Meanwhile, over on Channel 4 at 11.10, Pitch Perfect. And then, again, for the late night hours, if you've made it all the way through Christmas Day and Boxing Day and you're still awake in the wee small hours, at 1.25 on BBC Two, Ken Russell's Tommy. Now, Tommy 
is a really sort of full on film at the best of times. But at 1.25 on Boxing Day, when everything else has been going on, that is something that is going to fry your mind. As the tagline for the film said, he will tear your soul apart. Then on to Friday the 30th, Captain America Civil War on Sky Premiere at 8 p.m., Captain America Winter Soldier on BBC One at 8.30. But my suggestion is to round off the year with a screening on Channel 5 at two o'clock of Labyrinth, to remember that amongst the many wonderful people we lost this year, none was greater than David Bowie. And David Bowie in Labyrinth will never be anything other than eternal.